If you're able to see this video on YouTube, that means that part of this project has failed, and that means that we cannot, quote, embed, inline or otherwise, a video on MySpace. If, however, you can't see it on YouTube, you will only see this on MySpace because I'm doing that intentionally so that it page ranks on MySpace and might trend. Let me explain. MySpace began in the year 2003, August 1st. By 2013, nearly, you know, 10 years later, a uh, data migration changing it from the old MySpace to the new MySpace arrangement, which people were objecting to because no one liked change, trashed many profiles and proved to people they shouldn't trust MySpace. That's not the beginning of the end, but it's one of the signs that you're dealing with a website that's unstable. See also Gmail deciding not to let me in at random because they want me to give them a phone number so they can send me text spam. 2019, March 18th, all user content, 12 years worth, from 2015 backwards or so, was erased by accident because, because the people running MySpace at the time were buffoons. I want to point out at one point that a group of people, along with Justin Timberlake or somebody, bought, literally bought, MySpace for $35 million. Chump change. Okay. Now, this is setting the stage here. April 1st, 2019. MySpace's MP3, 2008 to 2010, two years worth of MP3s, the Dragon Horde, was archived at archive.org from that lost 12 years worth. Because unknown methods, somebody had gone through and figured out how to steal music files from 2008 to 2010, and just made a, a stack of files that were just the file ID codes, which means you, you don't know who made the song. I just downloaded a random one a second ago, and uh, I'll just play part of it. Let's see if you can hear it. You help me down, don't help me down. I've had enough of you. Okay, that's a small sample. It might actually tell me by content ID what song that is. That could be a garage band. It could be somebody running garage band. It could be Charlie XCX you might download by accident. It's a crapshoot. It's a random music playlist. Have at it. Link below in the description. 2019, not too long later, November 4th, MySpace, MySpace may or may not have been purchased by Viant Technology Holding Incorporated, which is such a small entity, apparently, that it doesn't even have a uh, Wikipedia article, and I'm sure it exists somewhere, but hey, if you're out there and you run the company, hi, you're, you, this is a video about raiding MySpace. Now, what am I talking about? Okay, this is the experiment set I did today. Number one, all uploads are temporarily disabled and have been for a while. The last time I was able to try to upload anything, according to all the data I just erased, they were broken uploads. A video, a picture, a few other tests I did, uh, and a posting saying, I'm trying to see if there's anything functional on MySpace at all right now. And that was 2019 or 2020. It wasn't working. It was definitively not working at all by 2022. Or 2021, actually, possibly. I don't know. The point is, is that most of the website's ability to have storage space was gone. If you're not aware of how a website works, 99% of what a website is, at least when it first slaps up on the screen, is text. Text is extremely compressible. It doesn't take up jack shit. You can, you can have one hard drive in your hand and host dozens of websites as long as they don't upload a single fucking photo and more so sound file and even more so a video file. A video file is a sequence of pictures with high compression. It's like taking a whole string of pictures and then, if they're related to each other, dumping them to a really efficient compressor. That's the same thing as the video stream you're looking at right now. And the audio is just compressed 10 to 1 from the bit rate. So, you know, you get the idea. But text takes up almost no space. So what happened is, after all this shit hit the fan, 
All uploads are temporarily disabled is a code word for they're disabling your ability to upload any more images. Now, what's on my profile is the background image, which is my green screen with water droplets matrix thing everybody did. And my picture is not there anymore, even though it is there because it shows it in the mix of my profile pictures uploads. So it won't let me use it. It has an error because the resized version is disabled. Now, what does that mean? I'm going into technical stuff, but listen for a minute. The picture is uploaded, but the algorithm on the website for converting a picture this big into a thumbnail this big and dynamically change it has been disabled. The picture is still there. They have simply turned off the ability to render it dynamically. That also means if they had video and you could resize it or change its uh, pick, you know, go from uh, 240p to blazing 340, um, that would be disabled too because that's an active process on the computer systems, the actual processors, not hard drive space. I'll get to the rest of this. I'll synopsize this in a minute. But anyway, all uploads, you can't put anything on the page that's a picture, an audio file, apparently at all. Again, depends on the account, maybe. And you can't upload a video. Okay. Advertising revenue is paused or disabled for any new posts by anybody who paid them money to advertise things. That means that you're seeing old news posting latest news from you know, 2017, uh, Rolling Stone's last tour, that sort of thing? Yeah. Now remember, this is the place that Charlie XCX and lots of other artists started. And it was a really good way to get into the business. If you're an artist. I mean, Grimes started there, partially, right? Or someplace else, right? Uh, what about... Uh, what about uh, Maya? Okay. This is a foot in the door that has been closed. Again, okay, let's go on. So revenue, revenue isn't working. They're not making any money. They're not allowing any of the processes that are really intensive to work for resizing even a picture. They're not letting you upload video or audio. But if it is there, it's still there. Now, why would they leave it up? I'll get to that in a minute. They had the ability to let you embed a YouTube video and then took it away. In fact, there was a embed on MySpace button on YouTube at one time. It's gone now. Can you post things and make them trend? If it doesn't consume hard drive space there, if it's basically text, some form or another, it's just text. If it doesn't have to resize anything dynamically through a computer routine, like an embedded player. Now, again... Nothing is trending on this website except shit from several years ago because people paid for it. Okay. On your honor, right now, are you happy with your social media pages that you have the ability to post to? Okay. I have, uh, I found pretty much every usable, not the best trending, but usable place to put up videos besides YouTube. None of them are allowed to trend because Google owns the internet. They don't let it trend. You don't find me on BitChute or Odyssey. And other uh, search engines are ignoring them as well because they base their trending status by buying it from Google. Google runs everything. But guess what website still trends for certain things? MySpace shows up on page two or the bottom of page one in search results for a shit ton of things, just for no reason. It's just there. But no one's using it. It's a ghost town. Okay, now, there's going to be a link in the video's description to an article someone had on how he tried to recover just his pictures from MySpace. He hadn't been there since he was a kid or high school student or college student. And he described something weird. Now remember, this is a website that is essentially dead. It's a live commodity, but they're using the absolute bare minimum of bandwidth. Think, do things like you would really a long time ago when dial-up was popular. If you're old enough to remember it, I, I am, then you know how to optimize this. Search engine optimization used to be making shit use the least amount of bandwidth possible. When you make a website, it was pure text. If I needed to put an image, I didn't put an image on the server because that would cost money. So I would use, at the time, Photobucket. Now I do Imager because Photobucket 
screwed over every single user and wants like $10 a month, which no one will ever pay them. They held art pictures hostage. They were caught doing it. They were even fined for it. Okay? Google, same thing. YouTube wants to charge you money. Okay, no, okay. But if you never, ever post something that chews up their bandwidth, and apparently any processor cycle, so no resizable images. Okay. This would be like setting up an old profile, like literally on Yahoo!, or, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, an AOL profile. AOL profiles would say you had to make the image literally the number of pixels you wanted it to be. And it had an upper limit. So if you made it too small, it would be, boop, you know, it would be this big in the, in the in the little square. So it wouldn't stretch or anything because that was processor cycles. And the bandwidth requirement said, please use off-site hosting, you know, leech bandwidth somewhere else, something. That's how you did it on uh, on eBay. You would post links to PhotoBucket. Or if you were using a website, you use PhotoBucket for, for image. It's an image host. Nobody does that anymore because all of the social media doesn't require that. But, again, the only thing they're restricting here is anything that would require that they use any kind of hard drive space. So, can you embed a link to this video? This video will be unlisted if this succeeds and I can embed it on MySpace. I'm pretty sure it won't work. But let's try this for a minute. Hear me out. Again, it turns 20 August 1st, 2023, an anniversary date. From today's date till then, look up how to get back into your account. What you do is, and this is the funny part, the guy who got access to his MySpace page, because the email he used for recovery or login was erased, he contacted them. Yeah. How, how could that work? Depending on when a company established a, a contract with you by an agreement, a click wrap license. They are bound to it, whether they like it or not, unless they can contact you. Which means a fuck ton of people on MySpace have a contract with the people who own it, Viant Tech, as of 2019, that says that they can't erase your damn profile without asking you. If they can't contact you, if they don't let you log in, they can't. So they're being a little bit loosey-goosey here. If you contact them and say... This is the email account I had before, but it's dead. It should match my account. This is the link to my profile, and this is my login, and this is approximately whatever other data they need. They'll do a conversation with you. It's a law firm probably, and say, okay, that's good enough. Here's your account. Set your password. Now, I just did it by guessing and getting into it. And annoyance. It was using a Gmail account that as soon as I tried to log into Gmail to confirm the account, it immediately detected that I was trying to use it for something critical and locked me out. Again, MySpace has a law firm basically handling this, or or maybe one or two people in tech support, that will go out of their way to make sure that they can communicate with you because they can't do certain things because originally, a long time ago, your your click wrap license in terms of service meant they couldn't erase it. That means if you have one picture there, for privacy reasons, they have to let you access it. I can see it, but I can't do anything other than download it. And then I can also, only one thing, I can't make an account. Maybe I can make an account. But the only thing I can do on the account is kill off the account or post what I think that day. Now, again, so anybody listening, Go on MySpace. If you had an account, try to get back into it. Doesn't matter how bad or good it does. I'll put as many links in the video and update it as possible as I can. Here we go. If they see a bunch of people make their accounts active again in any way, they will be tempted to make this into a full-blown social media site. But it's not YouTube, and it's not Facebook, and it's not Twitter. It's not run by Elon Musk. It's run by a bunch of people who would just like to sell it for $40 million dollars. And it's exposed, ready to go. And whatever you do might trend. I mean, this might be a search engine optimization thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to fuck around with it and see what happens. But on the anniversary date, August 1st, 2023, what if we all show up at the same time and post, happy anniversary? And see if it knocks it loose and maybe they decide, okay, we'll turn it back on. Or maybe you'll trend instead of, the latest news that year, 2017. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And let's call it an invasion or 
arrayed.